Last time in Roto Legacy of the Void. After going through Ripfield and with Army of Protoss, Ren and the boys finally acquired the final piece of the artifact. Hello YouTube, it's your name is Dark King, and today we're going to continue Roto Legacy of the Void. So, last time we went to a delicate design like a ship filled with Ripfield and Protoss, enemy Protoss, and a couple allies that we made along the way. They all died. <laughs> well, we also got the last piece of the artifact and BCs. Oh, the BCs. So, now with the battlecruiser in hand, let's go do the last mission before going to Char. My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. Well, that wouldn't surprise me. Let's go. <coughs> We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from... Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. <laughs> Intaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ayr are known to us. Intaro Tassadar, Selendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. Okay, interesting situation. And it's going to work just like last time. First, the one where I'm going with the history one, as in what I'm going to use for the history of this let's play, and a 0.5 episode later for the other one. So, for now, I'd say let's protect the colony. Why? Because that's what I would do in Rain instead. And, quite frankly, with the research of relevant, I'm going to get exactly the same amount of money from Mobius, so let's go. I ain't gonna stand by while you wipe out a whole colony, Salendus. Not while there's still a chance we can save <laughs> them. Then it shall be an honor to meet you on the field of battle. Your reputation as a commander is most impressive. I trust you will live up to <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. Whatever's happening on Haven, my people don't deserve to be wiped out. We'll make this right. I'll find a cure. Well, then. Jim, the Protoss are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. We're gonna have to stop that purifier of theirs before it can wipe the whole place out. Get everyone evacuated to the main base, Ariel. If the purifier gets that far, we're done. Hmm. Well, at least we can count on them being methodical. Indeed. They'll stop to burn every settlement along the way. You sure know how to pick a fight, <laughs> I got something that'll help you. I called in some favorites and got us Viking schematics. Nice. Remember, they can change from a jet into a combat walker and back again. Pretty nifty stuff. Jim, the purifier's drawing power from several Protoss Nexus. Its shields are completely impenetrable. How can you stop something like that? Well, the next day. Easy. We knock out those Nexi first, then we take down the purifier. Don't worry, Ariel. We'll stop them. Good. Let's do this. Safe Haven? Yeah. Nice the Protoss had anything to say about it. Big job, huh? Go ahead. Yep. I've located the Protoss Nexuses that are channeling power to the purifier shields. We'll have to destroy them before we can stop the purifier. Okay. 
Let's get to it then. Some of the colonists didn't make it to our base in time. Hmm. We should be ready to assist them when the Protoss attack. So, three of the colonies. Shish. Okay, second revenge in six minutes. Ugh, that's just freaking great. Not really. I have a feeling I'm going to need BCs in a foreseeable future. Well, first things first, bring on the Vikings. I'm going to need all the anti air that I can get, so. Yeah. Dredge. Sir, the purifier has arrived and is on the move. Oh, that's just freaking fantastic, not really. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Ready to blunder. Ah. Made for battle. Good. SCV ready. Add-on complete. Good. The purifier's coming into range of a colony base. Yep, not good. Okay, going to need supply depots. Oh, it's on. Oh, that happened. You scared me. Yep. Base is under attack. Ready to blunder. Well, he's dead. What's going on? Fighter flight. Okay, you're control yeah, two. Right. Okay. Sir. Detecting a massive energy spike. The purifier is about to fire. Well, that's just freaking perfect. Not really. Again. Damn! Additional supply depots required. Oops. Okay. Yep. And drop some. Commander, a Protoss squadron is going after the colony ships. Those people don't stand a chance unless we stop it. Then let's go. SCV ready. Not enough minerals. Yeah, still ways to get away though. Dredge for me. SCV ready. Try it. Fire! Fire! Good. Thanks, Rainers Raiders. We're getting out of here. <laughs> the colonists have evacuated the first settlement in the purifier's path. Good. The colonists left some resources behind after they evacuated. We should pick them up. Oh yeah. Well, I suppose one of my Vikings would do the job just as well, but... The men aren't doing squad right now. <sighs> Speaking of not doing a squad... I'm going to need another bunker. Ready to blunder. Well... Bad news. Guess I am going to have use for the marks after all. Additional supply depots required. Fire! Standing by. I'll take care of it. You gonna give me orders? Okay. Additional supply depots required. Then build them. We hear you. Sure. Who 
called in the fleet. Good. You hail? Protoss have arrived at another settlement, sir. Well, okay, boys, move out. Engage. Squadron en route. Whatever that means. Patching you through. Oh, yes. Energy output is peaking. The Protoss are going to destroy the second colony base. Fight or flight? Yeah, right. Transformation systems prime. Yes, indeed. Who called in the fleet? Good, second BC. How good. Who called in the fleet? Flagship ready. Oh, really? One Nexus down. Keep at it, boys. We gotta stop that ship. Warning. Protoss squadron detected approaching colonist settlement. What is it? Our ship's gonna burn up! The Protoss are killing us! Mineral field depleted. That was a close one. Thanks. The colonists have successfully evacuated that settlement. En route. Okay, badges, come down. Additional supply depots required. Mineral field depleted. Will do. Engine screaming. Ready to plunder. <laughs> well, fight or flight? Yeah, right. Base is under attack. Ready to blunder. Information systems prime. Fight or flight. Base. They've almost reached the next base. Hurry! Nexus gone. Great work. Don't give them a chance to regroup. You hear? Take it slow. Okay. They'll fire on the settlement any second now. Get clear! Uh -oh. Add-on complete. Roger.
What is it? Squadron on route. Yes, Commander. Well, kill them all. Our allies are being attacked. Yeah, I can save that. Sorry, boys. Oh, really? Help! They're destroying our ship! Purifier shields are offline, sir. Hit it now. Ready to plunder. Yes, Commander. Roger. Who called in the fleet? Base is under attack. Our SCVs are under attack. is under attack. Ah, the purifier sent our units into a dimensional warp field. The effect should only be temporary, Ready though. Blunder. Well... Kill it! Protoss arrival at the next colony base within 20 seconds, sir. Not enough energy. Ready to plunder. Two. Just kill it. I'm in a world of hurt. Not enough minerals. Fire! Kill it! They're ready to fire their planet cracker. We've got to stop that purifier. Fire! Transformation system described. Done. The Protoss are retreating. You've done it. You are as cunning as the stories say, James Raynor. I hope your belief in these colonists will be vindicated. Well, at least she's in the sore loser. Well, all done. Now that's left is Char. Gotta admit, it was a bit sloppy of me, but job got done, so. So I guess this is goodbye, Doc. You've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. <laughs> we'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. <laughs> Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figure they might cut me some slack. <laughs> Settle down, make a new start. Yeah. 
Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. We just gotta finish what we've begun. <laughs> You're a good man, Jim Rayner. <laughs> I ain't that good. <laughs> well, guess the doctor decided to stay on the colony. Oh well. Damn shame Doc Hansen stayed behind. <laughs> She was just about to fall for my roguish charms, too. You ain't gonna tell me you weren't just a little bit tempted to stay with her, are you? I've been down that road before, Tychus. I took my shot at a normal life a long time ago. Ain't no going back now. <laughs> Couple of badasses like us ain't cut out for the quiet life anyway. Yes, sir. Destiny's got us pegged for something way bigger. <laughs> Welcome back. We've got good and bad news tonight from our UNN <laughs> headquarters on Korhal. The influx of refugees has dropped as various fringe worlders have found new planets on which to settle. Oh, yeah. For the bad news, let's go to Kate Lockwell. Kate? What? Is, is, there, is the video open? <laughs> Hi, uh, yes, hi, Donnie. Well, many of the refugees are starting new colonies, and they've declared themselves independent of the Dominion. They have no faith in Emperor Mengsk's leadership. Well, Donnie, they mostly seem like regular folks who are scared about the current crisis, and angry that the Dominion didn't do more to save them. Some of them have praised Jim Thanks Ray for that, Kate. You heard it here first. Serious questions about Emperor Mengsk's leadership across the fringe worlds. Keep that in mind. Can he warn me when he's gonna do that? <laughs> Funny how people take it personal when you abandon them to the Zerg. Yeah. Because if I hadn't went, if I hadn't done the core hole mission before, the line would be very different. Oh, colonizer. Okay, the flag got the former county angry and the new <laughs> sovereign planet of Haven given to James Rayner. And Rainer Raiders in recognition of their immense contribution to our founding. <laughs> nice. I wonder if this will have any kind of ramifications in Legacy of the Void. Let's get down to business. Let's see, I have the Viking Marks now. Hell Angels. Well, this is the last time I have money, so let's go get the money. Uh, yes, you have. <laughs> okay, final count: one hundred seventy-five thousand credits. Onto the armory. <laughs> and we have the complete set. A two armored mechanical hybrid. Backing powers are a rare breed. <laughs> View powered can master both farms of the vehicle. Uh, Viking powered is a cherry until he's been inside of one during the transformation. The twisting metal can kill a less agile man. Ouch. <laughs> you know, I always found it interesting that the missile launchers don't work in ground mode. I mean, they're perfectly fine al finally aligned. Well, yes, that's what you get. The only few who can make it through training are so deadly that their names are well known by both allies and enemies across the sector. Backing servers are interchangeable. <laughs> SCVs can scavenge a Viking arm and repair it. More importantly, <laughs> arm to repair the more important leg assembly. Interesting. Man, did you see the size of that Proto ship? <laughs> No matter how often I see them, those guys always come out with something that makes your jaw drop. You know what I'm saying? I'd be more impressed if they were using all that power against the Zerg. <laughs> it's stupid to be killing Protoss when we should be teaming up with them against Kerrigan. Listen, they deserved it, and you did the right thing. Friends don't let friends massacre civilians, Jim. I'm proud of you for standing up to them. Okay, so let's see.
Okay, increased range. And splash damage. Interesting. 75,000. Let's see how much do you cost. 90k. Not interested, not gonna use specters. Probably not. Prevent cloaking, let's see, I already have you two. Actually, getting both these upgrades would be quite useful. Hmm. Interesting. Besides, the Marauders are going to stay in bunkers for most of the time. Or, if not, they have a medevac behind them, so... Yeah. Let's upgrade our Vikings. Unfortunately, now I don't have the money to get the Mercs. But, no biggie. <laughs> On to the bridge. Nothing? Better future. Let's hope that's what Ariel's people find on Haven. Indeed. And with those hopes, we're going to end it here, people. Thanks for watching, and next time, we're finally going to Char. So until then, thanks for watching, and see you around. Ta ta! Next time in Road to Legacy of the Void. With all preparation complete, Rainer, the boy, Junior, and half the Dominion's armada head to Char to confront the Queen of Blades.